everyone, this is JT, I am the Ty, coming back at you with uh, part 21, I believe. So, in this part, we're just going to get through the rest of Turtle Rock Dungeon. You can go ahead and just do that right now. And then, actually, I think I needed a key in order to get through here. Oh, never mind, I'm good. I thought I needed a key. Yeah, obviously, I hate the... I hate this guy. His head takes, what, like, three hits with the best sword in the game to kill, which is really, really insane, because this sword is absurdly powerful. Like, the only person that doesn't kill in one hit is Ganon. <laughs> but yeah, if you see these little dust bunny guys, just avoid them. They actually cause damage to you, so... And obviously you have to go through another way in order to get to that one. Into that particular room. We'll go ahead and just go up here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit that switch. There we go. Go through here. What's up with all the steamrollers? This is such a dangerous area. But this is a pretty, uh, a pretty tricky part overall. Obviously you want to avoid the fire thing, because if it hits you, you'll probably fall off your little, little contraption. You have to make your way to that ledge, essentially. So, we try to navigate our way over there. Actually, I think there's a key underneath that one, so let's go ahead and try to grab that one first. The whole pattern is just so confusing. <laughs> oh, I should have pressed downward. Here we go. Press down now. No, 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 I didn't mean to go that way. Here we go. Go back this way. All the way down. Ooh, I missed it again. Yeah, but you guys see the general idea. You press down here. It should get you to a key. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. No, go back. <laughs> oh, I fail at life. I unlocked the door, but then I, I locked it again, because I thought you had to put something on it. I feel like an idiot. I just go through here. There's the area I wanted to go down to. Wait, wait, go back. No, but basically in order to get through that passageway, you want to go through that door, so... Keep on turning prematurely. Here we go. Go down. So I've unlocked that door now, so let's go ahead and stop getting hit by a little fireball guy. This is embarrassing. And we gotta make our way down to that one. So obviously you just go through here, and that's a lot easier. There we go. Go ahead and dart down here. Um, you can kill this guy with a hammer, if you ever feel so inclined. I need a key in order to get through there, which is why I thought that there was a key in the other room, but there's probably a key in here. Obviously, I got the mirror, so I am good to go. Oh, you hit me. What a jerk. But yeah, I'm just gonna equip the magic cape now, because obviously I don't feel like getting hit. No fair. Ah. Uh. <laughs> It's like Mega Man. My vital signs are getting weak. Yeah, it must be something that can refill my magic in my hearts right now, because I'm feeling pretty weak. And obviously, I don't feel like using my potions, because I'm not at the boss. Now, there's nothing through here, and probably all the people respawned. So that was fail. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through this door now. Maybe I can freeze this guy and then turn him into something good. Oh, he's immune to my... to my ice rod. Leave me alone! You know, I just forget it, I'm gonna... I won't use my potion just yet, because I feel like the magic will be useful later on in the dungeon, but... Go through here... And then... 
creepy crawler. Okay, now he's not dying when I hit him with the sword. That's like rage. Here you go. Ooh, that guy was actually easier to kill than the little turtle person. Go figure. But obviously, I'm one to just kind of explore around a little bit and see what's going on. I think if you just go, you can just go upstairs from here, and then there's no, no picky thing at all. Slim picking, this should take you to the boss. Oh, nice. Yeah, but this is to the, to the boss. I don't remember what he's called, but basically he's a fire and ice demon monster thing, and it's really, really awesome. Obviously, um, my suggestion to you is to take out the ice side first, because... I should just so much faster. <laughs> like, look at how ridiculously easy it was to take out that side. But basically what you want to do is you hit him with an ice rod, and then it, um, it paralyzes the body. Oh, good thing I have a fairy in reserve. I think I got two fairies. Yeah, I have two fairies. I didn't even notice that my health is down. Yeah, but now I gotta be cautious. I have no fairies left, so... Definitely can't play it too close anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill up on hearts now. Take that. <laughs> you can't defeat me, I am invincible. Go ahead and kill that guy. Yeah, he takes away three hearts! And then he turns in... He's not dead yet, he turns into, like, a... An onyx from Pokemon. He's like a giant rock snake thing. And then what you want to do is you want to hit the, the center piece that is blinking. But he basically hovers for you, so it's pretty intense. Yeah, but it's just three hits if you have the correct sword, so... And obviously, I hope you guys upgraded before you got to here. It makes your job a lot easier. And then, we have all the hearts in the game. Check it out. And we got the last crystal, which should have Zelda in it, who does not look like all the other maidens, so hooray for that. Check it out! There's Princess Zelda! She's so happy that I came to rescue her. Well, no duh, your name is in the title of the game. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm the legendary hero. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. So, once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Just return peace to the country without fail. Do you understand? Heck yeah, I do. I'm so close to beating this game, I can feel it. But obviously, they're talking about the, the Tower of Ganon, and that was not marked on our map before. So if you check it out, there is a skull. Where the Tower of Hera was in the Light World, that is where we need to go next. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Um... I'm probably gonna grab a, a couple of potions and, you know, other crap. But, um, when we pick up next time, I'll, I'll, I'll grab all the potions off screen and then pre in preparation for this area. And then they're gonna go ahead and break the seal to Ganon's tower, but, you know, no, I'll just grab the potions, I'll stock up, and, um, you know, obviously drop off the rupees at that one fairy lady, and then I'll increase the, uh, the bomb and arrow carrying capacity, and then when we pick up, we will go into this tower itself, and then we will explore it. It's huge, and it's gonna take a really, really long time, but, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, guys! This walkthrough is almost done. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, see you guys next time. Bye!